Hey dudes, hopefully you've been watching our abs video series. The first two videos we started right at home. We did body weight ab exercises, and then we did the dumbbell weighted ab exercises at home. Well today we're gonna do the weighted gym ab exercises. And the best thing is you can do most ab exercises at home, but for the ones we're covering here, we need a cable machine. And for most people, they don't have a cable machine at home. So here we go. We're gonna start off with the rope cable crunches. What you wanna do is just grab the cable, thumbs facing up. You're gonna place your body right down here on the knees. You're gonna sit back on your heels and you're gonna bring those hands right beside your head. And what you really wanna do on focus on these is you're gonna be flexing that spine. A lot of people lift their hips up and down as they try to crunch, which is wrong because then you're not actually getting the full benefit of the exercise. So what you wanna do is just keep those hips stationary and you're gonna be getting stretching the abs by getting a slight arch in the lower back and then you're gonna be pulling those elbows to your knees just like so, flexing that spine and crunching those abs in just like that. And as you can see, when I'm pulling down, my hips aren't moving. My hips are still sitting back on the heels and really just flexing in, getting that nice crunch. Good thing with these is too, is you can go really heavy on the cables. You get a nice stretch in the abs as you bring it up. And then as you crunch in, you get a nice contraction in the whole ab area. And then you rep that out until you get that nice burn. Usually on these ones, it's gonna be three to four sets depending on how high volume you wanna go. It's gonna be around, well, depends on how heavy you go too, but it could be anywhere from 25 reps to get a nice, really good burn, kind of promote a little bit more endurance and definition in there. Or you can go really low reps if you want some nice, big, bulky abs. You get a little bit higher on the weight, kind of help build the ab muscles themselves, a little bit of hypertrophy range, which would be around the 10 to 12 rep range. Next exercise on the list is gonna be the cable wood chops. So what you wanna do is usually adjust the cable to about mid to low range this is a little older school cable here. So we actually have to string a cable and it's gonna be more in the low pulley range here, which is okay, it still works. So what you wanna do is grab this cable, step away, get a nice wide stance, wider than shoulders. So you get that nice base of support because you don't wanna turn your hips with the movement. You wanna keep them nice and stationary because you're focusing on the stretch through the transverse abdominals and the obliques. You're gonna turn towards the cable, grab it with the next hand, just like so. Once the cable's on there, actually. Just there, there we go. So you're gonna grab it just like so, and you're gonna pull up, twisting through the abs and transverse abdominals, just like that, get that nice stretch here. As you notice, I'm not following with my hips. I'm keeping them facing forward and stationary. Just like that, so the shoulders will follow. So it's your upper trunk is turning with it. Stretch here, contract, just like that. So you don't want any hip power. We're not working on hip power on this. It's just all right here, right in this core. And then once you rep those out, you're gonna face the other way. Same stance and repeat just like that. So with these ones you're gonna hit about the three set range and do 15, 20 reps. And it's just like any other ab exercises with weights. You can go really high weight, work a little bit more on strength, or you can go really low, excuse me, really high reps, low weight, and rep it out, work a little bit more on endurance, some of the definition because you're gonna be burning a little bit extra calories because of the higher volume. Third and last exercise we're gonna be doing is the hanging knee raises, but weighted. So you're actually gonna be holding a dumbbell in between the feet. The hand grip, as far as what the width is, is not gonna be super important as long as you have a comfortable grip. And it's gonna be overhand or underhand, whatever it may be. So you can get close or wide, depending on what feels better for you. You're just gonna grab this weight, just like so, between the feet, squeeze nice and tight. And you're gonna lift those knees up, nice crunch. As you can tell too, I'm not just lifting my knees where it's parallel to the floor. I'm trying to bring it past, crunching the knees all the way up to the chest. My hips are actually rotating. So what's happening is you're getting that nice spine flexion, which is gonna incorporate a little bit more abs and not just the hip flexors. A lot of times you'll see people, when they're doing leg raises, they'll bring it up here. This isn't involving a lot of abs. What you gotta do is go past parallel and crunch it up you're trying to mimic like a reverse crunch like how you crunch the top half this is crunching the bottom half so you need to get that nice flexion in the back still the rotation the hips the nice squeeze same with this you're gonna have to start a little lighter in the weights 10 pounds five pounds even slowly work up the heavier weights and then you're gonna add a little bit more bulk lower abs upper abs it's gonna kind of work it all so that's the best way about these exercises 
it's not just targeting one certain specific area of the abs. It might focus a little bit more on the fibers depending on the range of motion, but you're just hitting everything in general and that's what you really wanna do. All right, so with the hanging knee raises, weighted knee raises, what you wanna usually tend to do is stick with three to four set range, depending on how much high volume you wanna do or how much you wanna burn or focus on that certain area. And hit about the 15 down to the 10 rep range. Kind of stay within those rep ranges. Again, it's gonna be all about goal setting. So usually when you're trying to figure out, okay, how many sets should I do? How many reps should I do? You gotta think to yourself, well, do I want a little bit more bulky abs? Or do I wanna kind of lean down a little bit more, get a nice more swimmer's body or athletic kind of physique looking? Well, you're not gonna go as high as weight. You're gonna go a little bit more repetition, get a little bit more endurance in the abs, rather than just pure strength on the lower rep range. So that's what you gotta do is ask yourself as far as goal orientation goes. And that's really gonna answer the rep range or even set range. So that kind of wraps it up guys. We already kind of covered a lot of the other ab exercises, some of our favorites, which you can usually just do all at home, but feel free to take those exercises you do at home or the videos that we did, and then just incorporate them here in the gym, add a little bit of weight to those or not. So we tend to do ab exercises right after our workouts for about 15 minutes, three to four times a week. You know, again, it's all kind of depending on how you're feeling. If you have a really heavy leg workout, you kind of worked your core quite a bit already. You don't necessarily have to add abs on top of that unless you really want to, unless you're feeling kind of frisky, which a lot of times we're dead by legs anyway, so we do abs maybe on a little easier workout like arms. So that's it dudes, hopefully you enjoyed it, and as always, stay buff.